Hi everyone, I'm Ollie Matthews. This is The Narcissistic Resistance. Haven't done a walking video in a while. Been kind of caught up with um, Skypes and phone calls the last two days and uh, and the uh, the bar hearings, the new AG. Yesterday was Congress, today in, in the Senate. I just stepped away to, to hit tanning and I gotta go to uh, Publix and pick up a few things, so. It's just fascinating. You know, I said to you, I said, watch out now. Trump's going. Trump's coming. He's coming for everyone and he's cleaning house. And when Trump said yesterday, no, I'm not cleaning house, he's cleaning house. And today during the hearing, watching Barr when he was uh, being questioned by uh, Gene Shaheen, and you can see what their agenda is, you know, especially her. You know, she wanted to know why he's looking into, like, do you think there was actually spying on the Trump counter? And he's like, yeah, I think it's a big deal. He's like, yeah, and I think it happened. It's like, you know, he's just letting, he's letting them know. He's like, I know what you all did. I know what you all did, and I'm coming for you. So, it's a lot of good things going on now. Got rid of, got rid of border, border Barbie. Thank God, you know, because it was just one excuse after the after the next. Why why she can't get the border secure, you know? And you know, there's people screaming for this Chris Kobach guy, and I like him. I like him. I like what he says. My concern with him is he couldn't get elected governor of Kansas. And I'm just looking at that as a reality. Now, I don't know who else to put in that job. So we'll see. You know, but I think Ann Coulter made the, made, made the best point about him because people say, oh, well, he can't get through the Senate. Well, if he couldn't get through the Senate, then the Senate, then, then the Democrats in the Senate would want, would want him nominated just so they can defeat him and make Trump look like an ass. So... So I'm thinking maybe he can get through. So maybe, maybe he is the guy. You know? Another thing, people... You guys have been asking me, like, why don't I do a, a video on, on Omar, the congresswoman from Minnesota, the, you know, the anti-Semite. I'm, I'm like, because I look at her, like, everybody piles on to her. And, and I'm convinced there's, like, this segment of the right that, like, secretly has, like, a thing for her. They want to be her. Like, that Ben Shapiro really, like, just a creepy thing about him. Like, he's obsessed with her. He's obsessed with her. When the reality with her is, let her talk. Let her keep going. She's going she's gonna to hang herself. They can't help themselves. Which, I, which is what I said has been Trump's tactic all along. He's like, you give these people enough rope, they're, they're, they're going to hang themselves. Like, that's so easy, her. I mean, to, to be piling on her, yeah, she says some really horrible shit. She really does. On the other hand, I mean, there are, to say that she, there's no points in what she's saying, and I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the, the anti-Jewish stuff. I'm not. But she has made some points about the oil industry and other things, which are valid. However, however, you know, every time she says something like this and you're going to freak out, like she's going to blow herself up, so to speak. And, and I think this, 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 this pearl clutching on the right in regards to her only kind of only strengthens her, so to speak. She's going to end up, she's going to end up destroying herself, you know, sooner, sooner rather than later. Which, you know, which is what I, which I said, you know, was going to happen. Like, these were their pit bulls. These were... The, the neoliberal, the, the, the Democrat establishment's pit bulls, and they thought they were going to be able to control them. And the problem with pit bulls is eventually they're going to maul you. And then what? And then what do you do? Oh, 
oh, those people that, that you were using the pit bulls against are the first ones you're going to come call. Hey, can you take care of these pit bulls from mauling me? Yeah, sure, bud. No worries. No worries. So, so really, you know, you like somebody like her, you give her her own rope, and you, and you, and you, let, and you let her hang herself with it. So it's been real interesting. It's been real interesting times now, you know. And uh, if you're into the, if you're into the politics, you know, it, it, it's fun. So I'm almost at Publix now. Got to cross Oakland Park Boulevard. I might as well cross this way first. So I'm almost there now. I have a 2.30 uh, scheduled for today. Other than that, I'm wide open. I only have two stories with contribution and I've gotten more, <clears throat> I've gotten two, uh, two donators for, uh, for sponsorship, but I got another four sponsorships. So I need sponsors cause I don't know, I guess it's that type of, it's that time of year. And uh, so there's some people that can use some sponsorship help if you can help out with that. If you want to get your own story in, the queue is only too deep, so it should be, should be uh, fairly quick. If you want to do a Skype or a phone call, you guys know what to do with the links by now. So thanks everybody for all your support. I'm about to hit the Publix now, and I'll see you all real soon. Take care.